for watching Talking About Orcs. In this episode of Talking About Orcs, we're going to be painting the Killa Can. This is a Killa Can that I was airbrushed with the Vallejo Model Air Black. And black metallic, sorry. And our first step after letting the paint dry is to give the model a complete wash into bad at black. This will both darken it and shade it. While the wash is drying, we're going to go over the base with black to get rid of the metallic paint. Now that the wash is dry, we're going to be going over the entire model with a fairly heavy dry brush of the original color, the Vallejo Model Air Black, with the idea of restoring the original color, which is just an excellent, excellent color. Now while we're dry brushing here, I'm going to talk about the, the rust effects that you will see on a lot of other vehicles. We're not going with any rust here, uh, simply because not all metals rust. Uh, you have to have an iron-based metal in order to get any rust. So and in this case, specifically in the 40,000 years in the future, um, not all vehicles are going to be made out of iron. So we're going to be avoiding any uh, rusty weathering on this particular model. Now the next step will be a fairly light dry brush of chainmail to act as a highlight. The first step is we're going to take some Chaos Black and go over uh, anything that would be a hydraulic hose and anything that would be an exhaust port. Uh, the hoses are just going to be painted black and pretty much left that way. Uh, and unfortunately on this particular uh, version of the can there's not a whole lot of hydraulic hoses, uh, but on other ones you get quite a bit of hosing on the legs and the fists, and the dreadnoughtless combat weapon. And the exhausts are going to get a rust effect, so we're going to start by basing those in black. Because I'm going to say the rust, the exhaust parts are made out of iron, so they're going to rust. The next step is we're going to take some Mikrite Red and we're going to go over all the hydraulic cylinders in the Mikrite Red as well as the lens for the front 
where the grout would look out or where the electronics would look out. Uh, this will give the hydraulic cylinders a uh, very specific look and make them look, uh, trying to bring them out as functional hydraulic cylinders and just you know, the red definitely provides a quite a bit of a contrast to the darkness of the rest of the model. The next step is we're going to take chainmail and go over all the hydraulic rams as well as some of the um, operational components um, like the eye lens and some bits on the engine. Because um, actually even uh, the most used hydraulic systems have fairly clean rams once they come out because the seals wipe off the dirt. So using a chainmail um, be to give that illusion of a, again, the illusion of a working hydraulic system. The next step is to take brazen brass and just go over um, the entire model trying to pick out areas uh, that would be uh, either operational components, engine components, you know, something just to bring out uh, the worky bits, so to speak, as well as any uh, corrugated tubing, which I also like to paint with a brazen brass. So I'm going to paint a couple uh, components on the engine some tubing and some other random spots on the model uh, just to try and give again another contrast to the the blackness of the rest of the model You can see I've picked out several little pieces here and there, a couple of pieces on the Dreadnoughtless combat weapon, some areas on the uh, engine, some areas on the uh, rocket launcher, and some areas on the uh, area that's dangling down below between the legs. And it's just, and just wherever you want, there's really no particular reason for any of it. The next step is we're going to be making it a golf can, so we need some white. And to go over the areas we're going to be painting white, we're going to start with Vallejo Model Air Model Brush on White Primer. Uh, this gives good coverage and will give a very easy to achieve uh, clean white. Uh, we're going to be going over the areas on the front of the can and just some other random areas to make it goff. Now the uh, white primer um, is a little hard to work with and does take some practice. Uh, 
it, it needs to be the exact right consistent to cover correctly and and still give a smooth finish because if it's too thick of course it won't be very smooth and if it's too thin it won't actually adhere very well so it does take some practice when we get some trial and error and I've done quite a bit with the uh, white primer um, to paint white over other colors because it's just a very simple uh, way to do it without having to build up several layers of gray. Now we can also go over a few of the control panels. If you look the sides of the can and on the sides of the engine, there's a few boxes with wires going in and out of it. I'm going to paint those control boxes white as well. And after the primer is allowed to thoroughly dry, we're going to be going over all the white areas with skull white for the final bright white color. So that's it for the white step, and the paint, the white color is uh, nice and clean, at least for now. And that will go for the end, that will do for the end of part one of the How to Paint a Golf Can tutorial.